Hey. So, I don't know where my camera is, and YouTube is weird when I try to upload to it from the actual upload to YouTube. So, I'm using Photo Booth and, like, my screen recorder that I used for a while, and I found this really cool, like, comic thing in, um, Photo Booth. So, I decided to use this. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in, like, forever, besides WoW videos. I've just been really busy. But this is gonna be a video to, like, you'll see, you'll see. This makes me look like I have a really bad sunburn, but it's okay. Um, so, about a year and a couple months ago, I started working at Hot Topic as a seasonal sales associate. I was assistant manager at Spear Halloween, and then I left that because it was seasonal. And Hot Topic hired me because I knew the people there at the time. Um, but Hot Topic hired me in November of 2013. And I have been there just over a year. And in just over a year, I have went from seasonal sales associate to assistant manager. Anyone who doesn't know, I am now assistant manager. I've been assistant manager for a couple months, I think. Two or three months now. And um, this is just going to be a video to like thank Hot Topic. Because I love my job. I really love my job. Growing up, okay, so here, here goes the story. Growing up, I would shop at Hot Topic. Uh, I started shopping at Hot Topic in fifth grade. Um, I was 11 or 12 at the time, I think. I could be wrong. Um, so 11 or 12. I'm 22 now, so roughly 10 years I've been shopping at Hot Topic. And growing up, I'm always like, oh my god, I want to work at Hot Topic. It'd be the coolest thing ever. And now to be assistant manager of, like, the store I grew up shopping in and the store that I, like, dreamed of working at is the coolest thing ever. It feels like I am living my childhood dream right now. So it's, like, awesome. It's awesome. Um, I, through through certain circumstances, got promoted to assistant manager because the old one moved. And my district manager told me at the time, he's like, Hot Topic would not do this. Because I was only a key holder for roughly six months. Um, they would not do this. They would not promote you to assistant manager. They would hone you in your skill, your position, and then eventually move you up. So I am very lucky that the circumstances fell in my order because I'm like, I want to be assistant manager. I can do the job. And I think I do a pretty good job at my job. I think I'm, I do well. And it's awesome when customers are like, you're so good at your job, because they do tell me that sometimes. And it's awesome. Um, like, with selling things, I will make customers buy more items, and they're like, oh, you're such a good salesperson. And I'm like, thank you, I try. Um, but that is one really cool thing about my job. Another really cool thing about my job is that um when kids come in who were like the age I was when I started shopping hot top hot uh, hot topic when they're like I want to work here this is the cool store and I'm like well wait till you're 16 and then apply I'm like because it can happen but it's cool when like younger kids come in and they're like excited about our store because I'm excited about our store and I'm an adult and it's really cool when, like, people older than me come in and they're excited about our show because I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, you probably shopped here when you were younger, too. A lot of people don't like Hot Topic now because when I was growing up, Hot Topic was goth clothing. Like, goth clothing. It was, like, the store, if you were goth, or do you go and get, like, trip pants or, like, metal band shirts or, like, not so much industrial shirts, but, like, those kind of things. It was the store that had nothing no one else had. And it was a place that, like, me, all my piercings. My hair's not purple. You can't really tell. A little bit. It's not dark purple. It's, like, like that. Um, colored hair, piercings, body modifications, whatever. Me growing up, having, like, eventually getting piercings as I got older and dyeing my hair, it was, like, the place I could go and I would feel normal because... Like, no one who worked there would look at me like I had, like, seven heads. They're just like, oh, yeah, cool. What's up? I'm like, hey, guys. It's like, that's really cool. It's But growing up, for me, it was the place where, like, goth 
and like alternative and like anything you want to call it scene kids that's what we called them back in the day I think that's still relevant um but it was like the place for you to go and you felt like comfortable there and a lot of people don't like it because it's not like that anymore not that people who look like me aren't like looked at weird because all of us that work there have piercings or like stretched ears or colored hair or something crazy like that but they don't sell hot topic main doesn't sell trip pants in stores much anymore um we still have a lot of hot topic fashion from like hell bunny or a lot of rude guys clothing which is awesome iron fist has like in the last year gotten big there again like we saw iron fist which is awesome blackheart um lovesick anyone who knows what i'm talking about anyone who doesn't those are like the main brands that we carry but it's not so much programmed to a specific kind of people anymore hot topic just had their 25th anniversary so happy birthday hot topic you are three years older than me um it's not so much for that group of people anymore. We do still have a lot of stuff for, like, the goths and the alternative kids and the scene kids and the band kids and people who love music. There's still all of that in the store. But Hot Topic has progressed. Not really progressed, but, like, changed with the times as, like, they come. Like, we have a Disney section now. We have a Pokemon section. We have an anime section. We have Studio Ghibli, which... Hot Topic is the only company that Studio Ghibli has made an agreement with to, to sell in the States. My cat just broke through my door. Um, so when we started selling Studio Ghibli stuff, I was like super excited because I love Studio Ghibli. Like, I have Totoro on my hand and I'm working on a cover up of No Face. Well, with No Face, it's going to be like a Studio Ghibli sleeve. That's pretty cool, alright? Um, Hot Topic now has clothing for like... Earlier, I had a huge sale to these women who were, like, middle-aged. I'm like, this is awesome. Because, like, middle-aged people will come and buy our actual fashion clothing. We, we still have all the band shirts. We have all the makeup, the black lipstick. Um, we have a lot more, like, eyeshadows now. And it's awesome because superheroes are big now. And because superhero movies come out, that means we get the superhero things in our store. And I love Harley Quinn. I have a Harley Quinn tattoo on my face. But, it's big now. We have a Harley Quinn eyeshadow kit, which I'm actually wearing right now, and it holds onto your face really well. And I'm pretty sure that Blackheart did it. Not 100% certain, but it's like a little palette with Harley on it, and like four different colors. There's red, two uh, gray, black, and a shade of beige. And then we have like ones of purple, ones of black, um glitter powder, eyeliner, we just got a whole bunch of mascara in like different funky colors like blue, which is like awesome because for years I was trying to find that stuff and I couldn't find it anywhere. But Hot Topic has like all this makeup now and um, all hair dye, Manic Panic and Raw and a new kind called Sparks that's like vibrant colors like Manic Panic and Rude but it's permanent, which is awesome. I don't know if it's plant based like the other two are, I don't think it is, but it's permanent, which again is awesome. So Hot Topic still has all that stuff, but now it has, like, Disney. And, as I already said, I'm not going to repeat myself again because I repeat myself a lot in my videos. All that stuff. And a lot of people don't like it because they're like, it's for children now. Because Five Seconds of Summer merchandise and One Direction merchandise and Disney merchandise and Frozen. Frozen is huge now. We have a lot of Frozen things. But I love Hot Topic because it changes. It's not the same thing. It's like something is new and popular. Hot Topic will get that product because Hot Topic is still the place that you can only find certain things. A lot of places like us have similar items, but Hot Topic is the only place to get a lot of these, like Pop Funkos. I collect Pop Funkos like crazy. Um, I have well over 50 of them. And Funko made a specific Hot Topic guy that only permanent employees got for Christmas. So they gave us a Christmas gift and I'm like, what? Like, this is awesome, Hot Topic. Thank you. Because I collect Funkos. But you can only get him if you were a permanent associate. Or, like, associate or, like, management in Hot Topics. If you are not, you can't get one. You can't. The only other place you can buy it is online from a Hot Topic employee. Which is, it's so cool. Like, what company does that? What company contacts a collectibles company and gets a special Hot Topic or, like, a special person of their company just for the employees? Who does that? 
Um, what else was I saying? See, this is why I need to take notes and, like, leave notes because I have, like, lose my train of thought. Um, I know in the past, Hot Topic has had, like, YouTube shirts of people who are on YouTube, so maybe eventually my shirt will be in the store. Hopefully one day. But I have people that come in and recognize me, or they'll be like, I watch your videos. Which is one of the coolest things ever when people say they watch my videos, because I'm like, oh my god. My face turns all blue when I do that. But another cool thing about Hot Topic now is that the company is listening to employees and customers because the employees buy a lot of things. Right now I'm wearing this. It's a Hello Kitty swimsuit top. I got a Hot Topic. Earlier some lady yelled at me to cover up and I'm like, if I want my boobs to be on my shirt, my boobs are going to be on my shirt. Sorry, not sorry. But I'm covered. I'm covered. Um, this is from Hot Topic. I'm wearing a skirt from Hot Topic. My socks are from Hot Topic. My underwear is from Hot Topic. My makeup's from Hot Topic. My jewelry on my face is from Hot Topic. The only thing that's not from Hot Topic is my Night Elf Hunter necklace because Hot Topic does not carry a lot of World of Warcraft. But the cool thing is, in our store now, we have lists. We have one on our rock wall of rock shirts, and we have one on our novelty wall of t shirts. And customers or employees can write down whatever they want to see in our store because Hot Topic listens to the customers. They're not going to give us things that we don't want. So if you want a certain band, like I Love the Band Daughter, who's like a weird indie folk rock band kind of thing. I also love industrial music. So if I'm like Skinny Puppy, I saw Skinny Puppy in concert like a month ago and it was amazing. And I almost died because I almost passed out when my boyfriend saved me. But long story short. I love industrial music too, so I would write Skinny Puppy on it. And a lot of the bands that we're writing on the lists are coming on our play network now. And we have like, they give us a play network where there's all these artists. Um, there's the Party Station, the New Releases Station, and the Classic Station. Classic, there's like Frontline Assembly, Skinny Puppy, Nine Inch Nails, um, V and V Nation. On like current releases, they have like the new Combi Christ, they have like Bring Me the Horizon, Black Veil Brides. Um, and the party station has, like, all-time low and, like, rap artists. So, like, there's something that everyone loves that works there on that station. Yes, listening to the same thing over and over again can get kind of annoying, but if it's, like, something I enjoy and I listen to it in my free time anyways, why not? But you can go, you can actually go in the store and write it on this list if you want to see abandoned hot topics or on the radio. Same thing with novelty. I have been requesting World of Warcraft for months. For months. If anyone from Hot Topic is watching this, for months, you promised me World of Warcraft towards the expansion, you didn't give it to me, and I was disappointed. But we do have uh, a couple, we have an Alliance and a Horde shirt online, um, but anything like that, any specific animes you want more of, like we have Oran Host Club, and Dragon Ball Z, and Sailor Moon, and uh, Black Butler, a lot of Attack on Titan things. I love Attack on Titan. It's so good. We have like sweatpants and sweatshirts and t-shirts and lanyards and keychains, necklaces, bracelets, all this awesome stuff. But you can like tell Hot Topic what you want. And they have like all the social media accounts where you can do the same thing. A couple, since it was Hot Topic's 25th anniversary, on Instagram if you hashtagged HT25, then they actually took people from that and put it on their window clings and like signs outside the store and I was on it. If you can find one still, it's in the top right hand corner and I didn't know that until somebody tagged me in on Instagram and I'm like, <gasps> and then I like ran outside of our store and like, and checked the actual window cling we have on our thing and I found myself and I like, started screaming like my boss was, I'm like, oh my god, Sarah, I'm on the window cling. So I am the Hot Topic poster child dream come true guys <laughs> long story short I love my job and this this is really a thank you video to one hot topic for existing two for my district manager and manager keeping me because I try really hard at my job but sometimes I do things wrong but I still I try really hard to be good at my job because I love my job and I don't want to be a I don't want to be bad at it you know when you do something like 30 hours a week you want to be good at it like World of Warcraft I mean I'm decent at WoW. I'm decent. I try really hard. Sometimes harder than I should. 
so I get my job, but I, like, I love what I do. And I love my boss, Sarah. I know you're going to watch this, Sarah, because you watch all my videos. I love you. And thank you, Nolma District Manager, if he happens to watch it. I just want to make you all proud. But, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm going to try and upload more if I can find my camera. Um, if not, you'll just keep getting more reversed computer cam things like this. I hope it turns out okay and all the sounds not, like, weird. But, that's all. Um, I'm going to go now. If I can minimize the screen at all. There we go. <laughs> but I'm going to go. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my videos, even though I haven't uploaded in a while. And I get a lot of requests, and then I get really annoyed with requests sometimes. And then I get really mean, and I'm sorry about that. But sometimes, I don't make videos, like, hoping that people will watch them. I just make videos because I love making videos. And if I made videos every time somebody, like, demanded a video of me, um, it would turn into a chore, which is what I don't want because I love making videos. But... That is all. I will see you guys hopefully soon. I love you. Bye.